And as they grow older, the choices can grow alongside the child. It's Yuntak time with Akko and Tamo. What does Yuntak mean? It's an Okinawan word from the islands of Okinawa, which means chit chat. We want to invite you to our kitchen table and include you in our chit chat to explore new ways of thinking, to welcome different perspectives, and we want to share ideas on how to love yourself, love your partner, and shower your children with love. This is episode 25. And the topic of the day is helping your children become better decision makers. The benefits of giving your child choices. Before we get started, please take a quick moment to subscribe to our show. All right, let's get back to our recent happenings. So, for the recent happenings, what we've been having issues with recently is that having our child brush her teeth. Since she's only 21 months, we brush her teeth for her. And we're teaching her as we brush her teeth how to brush her teeth. Now, she's been hating that. She really doesn't like her、mm-hmm. toothbrush. She just bites on it and doesn't allow us to brush her teeth. So, what we did as a solution is number one, to use stuffed animals, right? Yes. So, yeah, we use stuffed animals as a tool to help us brush her teeth. So, we act like they're brushing her teeth and us brush their teeth as well. So, what we're doing is we're brushing the stuffed animal's mouth. One quick tip for you would be flip it so that the brush portion is facing away so it's not necessarily brushing the stuffed animal.、Mm-hmm. And then, so we're showing her that, yes, the stuffed animal's also brushing their teeth. And then we use the stuffed animal at times to brush her teeth so that she's quite happy having her tooth brushed、uh, by the stuffed animal. Now, another thing that we've noticed is that the bristles on even children's toothbrush was too much for her. I think it was actually irritating her and it ended up kind of hurting her.、Mm-hmm. So, what we did was found a special type of toothbrush. It's called nano bristle toothbrushes or micro bristle toothbrushes. So, if you're interested, just go to our website, yuntaktime.com, and go to episode 25, and we'll link to the product that we're using. It's been working out really great. It's a lot more smoother, yet, I've tried it on myself and I come out very clean too, and I really like it. Yeah, we recommend it. Yeah, so that was our recent happenings. So, the topic of the day is helping your children become better decision makers. The benefits of Of giving your children choices. Now, Akko, could you share with us some benefits? Yeah, so benefits with giving our child choices. So, one major thing that I feel all parents will probably benefit from is that it minimizes tantrums. And how this works is children want control, and it's a very natural human desire to want control. And so, when parents keep making choices for them, they feel that they don't have control of their life, they don't have control of any situation. So, by slowly giving them choices, it gives them a little bit of power to their life, and they feel like they're powerful, they feel like they're in control of, of their life. And so, giving them choices is Going to minimize tantrums. Now, the next thing is it also builds confidence. And how this works is because when you give a child a choice and you praise them for their choices, they feel a sense of accomplishment. And it's going to help build confidence and continue to build positive decision making skills through adolescence and adulthood. So, this can carry on pretty much throughout your life. And another one is that it cultivates a sense of personal value. So, you know, as parents start recognizing the decision that they make, children feel empowered. They feel like, oh, my parents value my, my decision, which gives them more empowerment. And that's going to help them throughout their whole life. And it's going to give them the confidence, like I mentioned before. And lastly, this is more so for when your child gets older, it teaches them responsibility. It allows the child to manage both decision and their outcomes. So, this is, you know, you're just trying to build their life skills at a young age. Yeah, thank you, Akko. So, giving your child the power to choose. Makes them feel empowered and prepares them for adulthood.、Mm-hmm. That's, that's great. So, now what we want to do is share what we do to give choice to our 21 month old daughter. And that's starting by giving only two choices this or that. Try giving these choices often. For example, even in the morning when your child is ready to change into their clothes, for example, if they're changing from their PJs into their clothes, they get to choose from this. Shirt or that shirt, this pant or that pant, even socks, this pair of socks 
or that pair of socks, mm -hmm. right? And then there's many other choices that they can make during the day. For example, read this book or that book mm -hmm. if they want to read a book. So that allows your child to start developing these decision-making skills. And at the same time, as parents, you're learning how to give choices. And as they grow older, the choices can grow alongside the child. And one thing that we also want to mention is make sure when you're giving these choices, the choices that you give are something that you're okay with. It's the parent's responsibility to filter out all the bad choices that are not positive for the child, especially at a younger age. Mm -hmm. Parents need to be the filter. And then as they grow older, depending on your child's maturity and skills of decision making, mm -hmm. then you can balance that out. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, as children get older, you you want to make those choices a little more difficult as they are developing and aligned with their development. Yeah. And so from starting with the type of shirt they want to wear, you know, as the children grow up soon, they're going to have to decide on which college to go to. There's many colleges that you can potentially choose from and maybe it's deciding not to go to college. Mm -hmm. It can be children deciding to be with their life partner or deciding not to have a life partner. I mean, the decision gets more and more difficult to buy a house or not to buy a house. So it's very interesting how it starts with all the small things, but it really adds up. Mm -hmm. And as you develop this skill, you become better and better and better at making decisions, period. And so this allows for your children to build a nice foundation mm -hmm. at a very young age. Yes, 100%. So, what type of choices do you give your children? We'd love to hear from you. Please come say hi on our new website by going to yuntakutime.com. Alright, take care. Bye.